Okay, mixed line and bar graphs in Excel. These types of graphs you're going to see are real popular with people who work in production or in certain branches of finance or statistics. What they do is that they put one data source on the bars and then they draw a line across the graph representing another data source. Like in this case, when we have weeks, we have a sales volume for each week and we have a running total. So what they do is they put this volume on the bars and this running total they put on a line across the chart. It's a way to get two separate sources of data on a chart and make it easy to read. You know, last time we tried to get two sources of data, we ended up with two lines that were completely off scale. So I'm going to show you how to do that in Excel, how to make a mixed line and bar graph. First thing we do, once again, remember to have your titles on your columns. Remember to have your data all ready to go. And we're going to step into the data table, insert, and let's start by inserting a bar graph. Since the bars are going to be the basis of our graph, we might as well start with one of those. We could also start with a line chart and switch over to bars later on. But I personally like to start with bars. So before what I did was I selected this data range and I deleted it because I didn't need it. But now I do need this running total on my chart. What I'm going to do is change it to the secondary axis. How do I do that? Well, let's start by right clicking and pressing this option which says Format Data Series. Like that. And notice that now I have the option of putting it on a primary axis or a secondary axis. So I'm going to switch it over to the secondary axis, just like that. And now when I close that options panel, notice that I have a new axis. I have this one which says 300, 250, 200. And I have this one which goes 4,500, 4,000, and so on and so on. Obviously, these orange bars are reflecting on the secondary axis. And these blue bars are on the primary axis. Only that they're both bars. So you really can't get an idea very clearly of what these things are doing. You know, this chart right now, it's kind of hard to read because these bars get cut right here in the center. And, you know, that doesn't give a really clear impression of what you're trying to say. So what you do usually is you leave the blue ones as bars and we're going to switch this one over to a line so that we get a line representing our running total. Okay, to switch it over to a line, we're going to right click and we're going to select change series chart type like that. And when I click change series chart type, I'm going to get this window right here. Now on the left side, I'm going to get a bunch of graph types. You don't want to press any of these because these are going to apply to your whole chart. You're going to switch the entire chart type. What you want to do is this. You want to go to this window right here and select the type of chart that you have for each data series. So for volume, I'm going to leave it on a column right here, clustered column. And notice that this selector, which says secondary axis, is not activated. That means that volume is going to plot on the primary or the left axis. And running total, I'm going to switch over to line. See, right there. And now this is the kind of graph that I want. The bars represent what happens each week. The line represents what happens over time, the accumulated values. So I click OK. And here's my mixed chart. The last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to format this data series. And I'm going to set the gap width to 10% or so. That's a pretty comfortable number. And the fill, I'm going to change it to maybe a gray. Gray usually looks good on these graphs. Gray and orange is a good combination. And here we are. See, we have our primary axis. The bars are reading on the primary axis. And we have our secondary axis. And the line is reading on the secondary axis. So that's how you create a mixed line and bar graph. You simply start out with both series on one same type of graph. You switch this secondary series 
over the line and you switch it over to the secondary axis and you get your mixed chart like this. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and to visit our website, cubicleoverlords.com, for more instructional videos like this one.